Hi. Now in this question then we're told that x is distributed normally so we can just write this in here that x is distributed normally with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 4. So that means that we normally would have to put the variance in here so that would be 4 squared or 16. It's up to you what you write here. Now I would always draw a sketch of the distribution and uh, I put the mean here and we're being asked to work out the probability that x is more than 25. So how are we going to work this out? Well I've drawn a sketch I would put 25 on here let's say we put 25 there this is an observed value so it has a little x and that's 25. I would then want to draw the standardized normal distribution underneath it so we draw that underneath remember the letter Z is used for that and the mean of the standardized distribution is zero and what I would need to do is to drop or project this observed value onto the standardized graph so if we do that I'm going to call this Z value here let's say Z1 now we're being asked the probability x is greater than 25 which would be represented by that area to the right of 25 which is equivalent to this area to the right of Z1 now what we need to do is work out what Z1 is remember you can work out any Z value which is given by the observed value minus the mean mu and in this example the mean mu is 20 and it's all divided by the standard deviation sigma so if we're working out Z here it will be now Z1 so we can have therefore Z1 equals the observed value 25 minus the mean 20 all divided by the standard deviation which is 4 okay work this out and you'll find that you end up with Z1 being 1.25 so in other words 25 is one and a quarter standard deviations above the mean that's what this is trying to tell us now to work out then the probability that X is greater than 25 we now know that this is exactly the same as working out the probability that Z is more than 1.25 1.25 standard deviations that's that Z1 value there in fact what I'll do is I'll just write it back in as 1.25 now the tables that you have are cumulative tables they only work out probability up to a Z value from the left hand side they work out this area here well knowing that the whole area comes to 1 we can say that this is the same as 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.25 now all you need to do is look in your tables for this particular value now depending on the nature of your tables some tables would actually have a column that would say phi instead of the probability that Z is less than 1.25 that have phi of just simply 1.25 so each of these statements are equivalent it's up to you whether you write that one in but what you need to do is look at your tables and in your tables let's just put it down here what you're looking for is a Z value look for 1.25 look under either the probability that Z is less than a given Z and you should see that it says 0.8944 remember this column might even be labeled Phi of Z depending on your tables well that means we get 1 minus 0.8944 and if you work that out what you should find you get is 
1056. So that is the answer to this part of the question.